What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here back again for a Toronto Maple Leafs game day preview filmed on the phone this time. I'm super busy today, so hopefully you guys don't mind, but a back-to-back, -back, of course, the Leafs won last night against the Ottawa Senators, a big game from Jack Campbell, and now Freddie Anderson will be the starter for tonight's game. So Freddie's got to play well here. You know, the Buffalo Sabres are a team that's been frustrated lately, but they still have a lot of talent. And of course, you always have to look out for Jack Eichel. He's an insanely talented player and... Yeah, like I said, Freddie's just got to be on his game tonight because, listen, man, Campbell's been proving that that guy want, likes to win games and he wants to stay in that crease. So Freddie's got to pick up where uh, Campbell left off. I believe the Leafs record coming into this one is 31-20-8, the Sabres at 26-24-8, and, and of course, this is for Sunday, February 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I, I forgot to say that off the top of the video. Uh, a few notes, uh, excuse me, two forwards were called up from the Marlies. Uh, Igor Korshkov and Mason Marchment. Now, I believe both these guys have played back-to-back -back nights on Friday and Saturday, so I doubt that they're gonna, one of them's going to be in the lineup tonight. Um, there is a possibility, but I just I don't know why they would want them to play three games in a row. A lot of people are excited for Korshkov. I think people should just be excited for Marchment as well. That guy's a really physical type of player. He didn't do as well as people would have thought when he got called up the first time. But uh, he's not here to wow you. He is a guy who's physical, and uh, he can put up some points here and there. And then Korshkov is a guy who's impressed with the Marlies, and he looked really good in Maple Leafs training camp this year. So, I don't know. Both of those guys have a chance to uh, be mainstay mainstays on this team next year on the fourth line. And uh, we'll have to see if they can prove it in these next couple days or next couple games if they get a chance to play. So like I said, confirmed goaltender for the Leafs is Freddie Anderson, 24-10-6 with a shutout, 2-8-8 goals against average, and a 9-0-9 save percentage. Uh, Hutton is the probable starter for Buffalo. Again, I'm not sure why uh, it's not updated. I'm not, I'm not too sure who's going to start for Buffalo. But it says Hutton here, 10-9-4, two shutouts, 3.17 goals against average, and an 8-9-6 save percentage. So Hutton was good when he first got to Buffalo, but this is just the numbers that you don't expect from him. Buffalo's been having a lot of trouble this year, and it looks like goaltending is one of those problems. In terms of points, Austin Matthews has 71 points. The guy just scores at will. It's insane. Jack Eichel has 73 points. Uh, Eichel, like I said, amazing, huge like talent. The guy is just amazing. Uh, in terms of assists, Mitch Marner leads for the Leafs with 44. Eichel has 41. You're going to hear Eichel a lot because he leads in pretty much every category for the Sabres. In terms of goals, Matthews, of course, 42, tied for the league lead, I believe, with David Pasternak. Uh, Eichel has 32. The, the guys are just going to score 40-plus goals again this year. In terms of wins for goaltenders, Freddie Anderson has 24. Allmark has 16, so I'm not sure if Allmark's going to be playing in this game. But in terms of goals per game, stats per game, all that stuff like that, uh, we got 3.52 goals per game for the Leafs. They lead the category because Buffalo is at 2.84. In terms of goals against per game, uh, Toronto's at 3.24. Buffalo's at 3.09. So Buffalo takes the advantage there, even though their goaltending hasn't been too good. Uh, power play percentage, 25.16% for the Leafs. Buffalo's at 19.28%. That's, that's something. They need more help for Eichel on the offensive end. Jeff Skinner, he got a big contract, and his numbers are not very good. I know that he's had some injury trouble, but, man, they really need some help uh, for Eichel, and that Skinner contract looks really bad. Uh, in terms of penalty kill percentage, 77.78% for the Leafs, 75% for Buffalo. Not a lot of teams have a worse penalty kill than the Leafs um, that we've seen recently in terms of these videos and, and the stats that I provide. Uh, but man, that's uh, that's decent numbers. They're pretty close there. But Toronto takes the advantage in every category except for goals against per game. So I expect this one to be a fun hockey game. I want to see a bunch of goals go in for the Leafs, of course. But, uh, you know, we, we want Freddie to have a really solid game here. Freddie needs to pick up his confidence. I know that I said this already in the video, but he really does need to get his confidence up there because if he's able to play really good games down the stretch here, the Leafs will have an even better chance to make the playoffs. If you've got solid goaltending, you have to let your offense do the rest because if, if they can rely on, on Freddie and Campbell, this team's going to look really good. I mean, it, Campbell's gotten every point that he's gone out there and played for except for one point. So he's proving that he's a solid backup, a great addition uh, by Kyle Dubas. We've seen Clifford come in and make an addition as well in terms of the physicality. He's gotten into a couple scrums. He's gotten into a fight. Uh, he's out there being physical, so he's working out there. 
And uh, yeah, the Leafs have a ton of depth when it comes to their forwards. Calling up a guy like Korshkov, who can be a really effective bottom six player in terms of physicality and, and being a bit of a, a pest out there, which is good. The Leafs need that. Mason Marchman, again, a similar type of player. So, uh, man, I, I'm excited to see this game. I want the Leafs to keep rolling here. They've been uh, better than, you know, uh, the beginning of the season, of course, with Babcock. I like how they've played under Keefe at times. Uh, well, most of the time. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. Let's get to 7,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys as always. 7 p.m. Eastern tonight, February 16th. Leafs and Sabres. Enjoy the game. Peace.